If you do anything that requires you to receive money from international clients, you know that every now and again, PayPal will always come up. People want to pay you through PayPal. So I'm going to show you how to open a PayPal account in Nigeria without the VPN, without the LLC and all that nonsense. So let's get to it. Creating this type of PayPal account is pretty easy and straightforward. You don't need a VPN or a US LLC or any type of foreign LLCs set up. So to do this, we are going to head over to paypal.com slash AE. We're trying to create a UAE PayPal account. Click on sign up. You're going to get to this page. You want to make sure that the URL that you're on is AE. And that's what's going to allow you to have all the functionalities that you need for a, pay, a fully fledged PayPal account that you're not going to get with a Nigerian PayPal account. When it comes to what type of PayPal account works, I have tested both and I've noticed that the business usually works. So forget about the personal, go with the business and click on get started. So now we're going to start to provide our information for the PayPal account. We're going to enter our first name and last name. We're going to enter a phone number. When it comes to phone number, you can see that the Nigerian um, code is here. So you can select Nigeria and actually provide a Nigerian phone number and then provide your email address and password and we can move on. But go ahead and enter your first name, your last name, your phone number, your Nigerian phone number, and then your email address and password. Make sure your email address has not been used with any PayPal account before now. And then we're going to agree to the terms, of course, and then continue. Now they're trying to confirm our phone number. We're going to click on text code and hopefully that code is going to get sent to us. And this is the reason why you don't want to use a number that you don't have access to. On my phone, I have received that code. It's 923146. Okay, 923146. And click on submit. And you see you're all set. The number has been accepted now we can move on to set up the rest of the things for our business so they're asking if we're an individual sole proprietor or a business a registered company we want to keep things really simple so we are going to go with the sole proprietor and the type of sole proprietor we are individual or sole proprietorship it doesn't really make too much difference which one you choose but i like to go with um sole proprietor and then we're going to click on next and now here we're going to provide our basic information again, like name, date of birth, what's our nationality. And here it may seem counterintuitive, but you can also select Nigeria in this place. Select Nigeria and for the phone number as well, the same phone number we use, our Nigerian phone number. But here we can provide a um, UAE address. So you could just quick, quickly Google and find a UAE address and add for your first address. And you can always add different addresses. Maybe you get a virtual address, which will make your business a lot tighter if you have a, a virtual address that you pay for. But just for the purpose of um, um, going through the sign up process, we're just going to put in a, UA, a random UAE address here. So I've gone on to fill in all that information. Um, again, my name, date of birth, country, and phone number, and then just a random residential address. I'm going to click on next. So they're going to ask us for our business um, information and about our organization. So I'm just going to select here, just use full name, uh, full legal name for my business. And then the primary currency is going to be the US dollar. And what service do you offer? Here you can select anything that comes close to what you offer as uh, or some, what you want to use this PayPal account for. I'm just going to use digital goods, media books, movies, and music. And then do you have a website? For now, I'm just going to say no. And again, we're going to provide our business address. I'm just going to say use the residential address. And now we can click on next. And as you can see, we are almost done. You are almost set. You just need a little more info to finish up. So let's click on add info and see what they are asking for. Complete your profile to start using PayPal. So we'll click on next. They're pretty much taking us back to where we were before. So I'm just going to enter the same information again. I've provided the phone number I provided previously and I'll, cl I'll click on next. And now it says, congrats, you are all set. You can go to your home page and let's see what that looks like. If you're liking the video so far, I'd really appreciate if you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and also leave a comment with any thoughts or questions that you may have. So yeah, we have an 
a PayPal account that is almost completely functional uh, apart from the confirmation of our email, which we're going to do real quickly. We have a couple of emails from PayPal and I think this is the one for the confirmation. I'm just going to click on confirm and that should be able to clear up the um, error message we have there. So as you can see here, it is trying to confirm our email. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the flag here and make sure I find UAE before I log in. There it is. And now I am going to enter my password. And just like so, your email has been confirmed. So if I go back a PayPal account, you can see that that message has been removed. So there is no errors whatsoever in this account. We can go ahead to link a bank and start to use this um, account as normal. Now, I always advise that when you are using a, when you create an account like this, you want to make sure that you drip test it. So that means sending money into this account bit by bit until you have a little bit of activity or enough activity in the account, or at least you have settled your own curiosity to make sure that um, your account doesn't get blocked. The way this account is set up is simply giving PayPal an idea that you are a Nigerian who does business in the UAE. So if they find out that you're a Nigerian who does business in Nigeria and you're a resident in Nigeria, your account might still get shut down. Now I've had an account I've created like this running for four, five, maybe even six years now and with no issues at all but still you want to be very careful especially when the account is brand new you want to drip test so send like two dollars five dollars ten dollars and see how the account is going to react if they're going to ask you for more things sometimes you might ask for identification and oftentimes if i provide my international passport i always recommend you use your international passport that error will clear up and my account will continue to function normally drip test please don't send a huge amount of money into this type of account, especially for the first time. Please, please don't. So your money does not get stuck. Now it's nice to have PayPal accounts like this. Personally, I've had some that have run for years without any issues, but if your business grows, uh, it's advisable for you to have a very solid PayPal account using US LLCs. And I have done a whole series on how to register your US LLC and have your PayPal accounts and Stripe. And really the sky is the limit when you have a, us llc and if you're interested in that more um, superior method of doing this then you want to check out our us llc playlist it has all the information you need and i keep piling on more information as time goes